It's Friday morning. Just got a call from the delivery guys and they're on their way. And welcome to my vlog. Well, look what I got. A package from Bill's T Max. Oh yeah. Right on. Came from a company called Vinyl IT. Vinyl IT. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Alrighty, well he basically gave me the instructions on how to install the vinyl because that's what he sent me. Is a buttonload of vinyl stuff. Sweet. He's like, hey dude, I hope this shit is not offensive. To you, if so, GFYM, we all know what that means. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, sent you some Angry Birds 2. Seems to be the, the big thing now. Have a good one. Hope you... Oh, what the hell. I hope to meet you soon. Billy. And Billy's T-Max on the YouTube TV. Link will be in the description if you want to check it out. Alright, let's see what kind of... The vinyl stuff we have here, I guess we're gonna have to look at it from this side. So, they sent me a bunch of Vloggin' Life stickers. Look at that, a bunch of Vloggin' Life stickers. We got two of these like slap on ones to say Vloggin' Life. And then, holy crap, I'm subscribed to Vloggin' Life. There's like the Mega Boosher. <laughs> oh, geez. Vloggin' Life. I think there's five of the Vloggin' Life ones here. Those are funny. The Mega Boosher ones. Yeah. There's, I believe, five of the Vloggin' Life ones. And five of the Mega Boosher. Because, well, I do tend to shit myself a lot on camera. So there's five of those. The I'm subscribed to Bill's T Max on YouTube, because apparently I am. Obviously, I watch his videos, so I gotta be subscribed, right? So, that'll go great with my I'm subscribed to One Pug Life sticker. If I ever find a spot to stab these. And then we got the Yellow Bird, my favorite, the Red Bird, and their enemy, the Military Pig. Right on. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Sweet. Well, luckily, I watch a lot of his videos, so I didn't really need the instructions on how to install. So I watched them do it a bunch of times already, so I have a, a good idea on how to how to install these guys. So hopefully we can get this. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put them though. I like the Angry Birds; those are hilarious, especially this guy. The red one's my favorite. But uh, yeah, I don't normally put stickers on my cars, but we will figure out somewhere to put the stickers. That is for sure. Well, when I get big red back, I guess I can stab the Vlogging Life sticker. On the RSN to Big Red and friggin' sweet. Friggin' sweet. Friggin' sweet. Bill T Max on the YouTube TV, everybody. Bill T Max, YouTube TV. Not sure if you guys can see the delivery truck out there, but there's a delivery truck out there because the son of a bitch is here. Our stove is here. Oh, just tore the bottom off the box. I would go out and give him a hand, but you know, I kind of sort of paid for uh, delivery and installation. Cost 50 extra bucks, so uh, well, we'll put these guys to work. Freaking right, so let them earn that 50 bucks. This is a major piss off. Number one, where the outlet is to plug in the stove, the cord won't go in there because the cord part is aiming down at the floor, so we gotta flip the box to use the stove. And number two, brand new stove, freaking handle's broken. Piece of shit. Look at this. Look at this, freaking broke right off inside the stove. Right off inside the handle. Completely cocked. Told those guys to take it easy because it's a glass top stove. Nobody friggin' listens to me. Sons of bitches. Well, we finally got through to Future Shop and they're trying to blame us for the damage and that didn't happen. That didn't go over well. So, uh, looks like they're gonna be replacing the stove. So we get a new stove top next, uh, on the 9th, whenever the hell that is. I had to order a new one in and all that shit. So that's alright, I guess. This time here I'm going to check it even more thoroughly because I didn't even notice that handle was broken. 
and uh, uh, should have realized something was up when uh, Buddy was all, okay, sign now, okay, sign now, okay, sign now. I should have investigated and been like, whoa, 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 back the truck up. Let me take a look at it, but I didn't. That's well, you know. And the old stove's already gone. Uh, we called the guy, and he came by and scooped it up. So that's right on. Didn't take him long to do that. One man just freaking picks it up, pitches in the back of his truck, and tear, takes off like, like he's doing some sort of GTA or something. He's all nervous. Meanwhile, I called the guy and said, "Yeah, it's sitting in the driveway behind a Trans Am in front of a G6." <laughs> oh, well, whatever. So that's all done, taken care of, and we're getting other things cleaned up, and we just hooked up the freaking Black and Decker uh, convectional oven here. So now we have the convectional oven hooked up. Which apparently, according to the picture, it can do a turkey or a chicken. It's got a rotisserie. You can do a chicken. If you like chicken, you can do a chicken. I like chicken. But uh, slowly getting things together. And uh, I got to go to work for six hours. Freaking awesome. Four till ten. And tomorrow night we're getting drunk. Gonna go to a New Year's party. Get friggin' shit faced. And it uh, should be a good time. So that's the plan. It's cold out right now. It's like minus 26 out. Snowplow has been by a couple times, but luckily with my winter force, I should have no problems clearing the driveway. Yeah. So, awesome sauce. Right on. Talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, well, I'm leaving a little early. It's actually quarter after three, mainly because I want to go to the bank and drop off the rest of my Christmas money. Put it in the bank so I don't have it laying around at home because that would just be stupid and suck big time if somebody were to break in. Also, it really sucks is the fact that I just cleaned the ice from inside the windshield dam on the uh, driver's side here, and the friggin' thing still won't go down, piece of shit design. Like, for freak seeks, why don't they have like a little coil or something in there, or like make it watertight so water can't get in there and dick over the program. Oh, friggin' engineers suck. It's pretty bad because it does it to the girlfriend's car too. That's why I hate power windows. Manual windows, only way to go. Just get some alcohol de icer and just friggin' piss it down there. Or just take a piss down there, one of the two. Alrighty. Enough bitching and complaining. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank and then go to work. So, we got the new stove hooked up and everything. And apparently, on the 9th, they're gonna bring us a new one, so that's fine. And, uh, yeah. When we asked them if we can use it for the time being, they said yes. So, freak yeah. Might be able to make some bacon and eggs. Probably a good thing, because the old stove is gone. It's gone to the scrapyard in the sky. Yes, I'm still trying my window. Friggin' pisses me off that this thing doesn't work. This car always dicks me over whenever it can. Friggin' Pontiac Vengeful, that's what they should have called it. Not a G6, the Vengeful. Full of vengeance. Uh, probably could have went like 200 times already. Now watch, the bank's going to be closed. The only people lazier than the customer service reps at my work? Banks. So those lucky sods got to leave today at friggin' uh, noon again. Like, they're off Monday, Tuesday, come in to work Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday at noon. And they get paid for five days, like... Like that is friggin' awesome. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, for freak's sakes. Come on, transport, accelerate before the rest of the crowd catches up. Oh, yeah. Let's go see if the banks are open. Would you like a piece of my pee? Sorry, I was watching Family Guy before I left the house. Oh no, I got my pee all over ye. Let me guess, there's nowhere to park because people are goofs. Nowhere to park in the TD lot because people are fucking goofs. Holy shit, people. Look at this freaking gank. See, that's the problem with this place, is they pay, the, the snow covers the lines, right? The moment that happens, people become idiots and they don't know how to drive. Like, the way I'm driving right now, this is the proper way in. And the way I'm going right now, it's the proper way out. 
Instead, what people insist on doing is being idiots. So, a bunch of goofs. And I just stove myself into a snowbank. All right, I'll talk to you guys when I get out of here. Well, there goes 14 minutes of my life I'll never get back. Gotta try and get out of here. Holy shit. I got 20 minutes to make it to work and watch. I'll still be late because this friggin' bullshit traffic through the mall. Everybody's gotta hurry up and get their shopping done today because tomorrow everything closes early and then Monday and Tuesday everything's decked and well, you know how it is. Holidays. Tis the season to lose your friggin' mind. Look at all the people, eh? All coming to get deals. If there aren't that many good deals in the flyers. I forgot to do flyer day today, guys. Holy shit. I am super not on the ball. Super not on the ball. <sighs> Going to work. Work for six hours. Get paid for eight. Gotta love it. Still can't believe all the traffic here at the mall on a Friday afternoon. I think after Christmas everybody would be broke as a joke on Coke, but I guess I'm the only one who's broke as a joke on Coke. <laughs> uh, sucks. Well, I got 17 minutes to make it to work. Can I do it? Will I do it? Probably not. Blasting through a green light at high speed velocities. The ground's all frozen over, it sucks up to my knees. I make no sense when I sing songs, but it's funny anyway. So what's stupid is payroll week ended in December. Normally they don't charge us income tax until the new year. And they've already charged us income tax. Freaking bastards. Well, what can you do? They go by the date of the check being issued, not the date of the, uh, the payroll week. I swear our payroll department's a bunch of derps. Well, I didn't bother packing a lunch because the girlfriend wants to take me out for supper tonight. Right on. She said it's her treat. Even better. <laughs> Tomorrow night we got a New Year's Eve party to go to, so I drink myself retarded. I got eight cans of James in the fridge that I'm bringing with me, and uh, I don't know what else. Girlfriend's gonna buy stuff for Caesars, and on Sunday we're supposed to go over to her parents' house and play some remoli or something, and oh frig yeah. Capus wanted to hook up for coffee tonight, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Because uh, my girlfriend pretty much wants to hang out tonight, so. That probably will not be happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Light's still red for us. They got an advanced green, buddy. Take it easy. Gotta love gun jumpers. Oh, buddy's losing his shit. Alrighty, we're at work. Yay. Wait, why am I excited? Oh, the cleaners are already here. Okay, I'm at work, so I'll talk to you guys uh, whenever I come out again. All right, peace. Well, it's 7.15, supper time. Taking an early supper because I'm out of here early tonight. Having some weird problems with this camera besides the fact that the wind blowing right now is probably just caught over the program. Break sakes, why does it always kick up the wind when I'm talking? All right, wind's gone. But I've uh, been having problems with the battery door. It's not closing properly. So I'm just going to talk to you guys like this. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Uh, basically, the camera sometimes will not turn on, so you got to open the door and close the door, and that solves the problem. 
Other times it says check battery or battery not charged. Opening the door, closing the door solves the problem. Anybody out there running this camera having that same problem or is it just because I use the shit out of it? Let me know. But uh, that's the uh, Canon PowerShot ELPH 300 HS. And uh, I'm hoping it's not on its way out because I kind of sort of like using this camera besides the fact that the wind just kills the friggin' audio. But anywho, just thought I'd do a quick little update. Might do flyers when I get home. Actually, the girlfriend wants to go out and get something to eat, so I might go out and get something to eat. I don't know. We'll see what we do. We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. Holy cock monkeys. The shift is over. It's currently 10.04 p.m. Minus 10 degrees out. 192 kilometers till empty. And uh, let's go get this friggin' party started. By that, I mean just get the frig out of work. And go home. Whoever plowed this place, man, they did some weird work here with this washboard lake material. I think I said that yesterday, too. <sighs> Streets are bare. For some reason, I'm expecting to not make it home tonight without getting pulled over by ride. And if you're all wondering what ride is, ride is basically a police barricade set up to pull people over and see if they've been drinking and driving. Well, even though I was at work, well, I didn't drink. No, I never drink at work. You know, some days are really friggin' warning. I'm starting to think my wipers are ticked. Hopefully she's checked out my pants. Because one of my pockets has my spare battery for the Canon. And I really don't want it to go through the washing machine because if it does then it's dick. I already lost one like that. Really can't afford to lose another. Winter Force! I thought that's fun to say. Yeah, a lot of you were saying I paid out the ass for the tires. And in a way you're right. Uh, they were pretty expensive, but, you know, I could have got Goodyear winter tires up the hill. There's a place called Independent Tire, and uh, could have got winter tires for a lot cheaper. Instead of 519, it would have been around 425 they poured me. But the problem is, is the car, I could not have driven it up that hill. Not with the state it was in. I would have had to get a tow, and a price a quote on a tow truck ended up being friggin' ridiculous. I think it was like 75 bucks or 80 bucks to tow it up the hill uh, from the house to Canadian Tire. Like, I didn't mind driving it to the Barry service station because it was just down the street. But from the house to Canadian Tire was a $65 tow, tow bill plus tax. So it's like, okay, I could have bought two Goodyear Allegras, which came up to uh, 225 a piece. And then after taxes, you're like way the frig up there. And then uh, like that, that 225, that's with all the installation and all that. So after taxes and the tow bill, I'm, I'm still more than what I paid over at the Shell service station. So, or the Barry service station. I keep wanting to call it Barry Shell because it used to be called Barry Shell back in the day. And it was located at that Mike's Mart right on the, right on the main street that I'm about to go down. But, uh, Actually, while I was in there, I was asking them, like, so have you lost a lot of profit since you started, stopped selling gas? And uh, they said, you know what? The best thing that ever happened to us was losing the gas station part. Because you make no money. You can actually lose money running a gas station. Like, let's say gasoline prices are up uh, to buck uh, thirty a liter, we'll say. That means you're buying it at a buck twenty-eight a liter. And the next week it drops down to a buck twenty-two a liter. Well, you're still you're still selling a buck twenty-eight a liter gas, so now you're losing your shirt. And you're not making profit. But of course, it can swing the other way. You buy a lot of gas at a buck twenty-two, and the price all of a sudden rockets up to a buck thirty-six. Then you know you're making all that extra profit. 
The only time a gas station actually makes a lot of money is if it's a mom and pop operation and you can have your entire family there working for free. Otherwise, forget it, not worth it. The, bigger money, the biggest money you make at a gas station is selling chips and cigarettes. Other than that, you make not a dime. Well guys, I'm almost home. So we'll get there, see what the girlfriend wants to do, and we'll freaking go do her. All right, peace out. Hey guys, it's one o'clock in the morning, and uh, I've been home for three hours, and I haven't done shit. <laughs> All I've been doing is playing Minecraft. But want to see something really cool? Look at how bright the backyard is right now, just because of the snow. That's intense. That's freaking intense. Well. I'm playing Minecraft with Logie and Ty logged into the server. He's been giving us a little bit of schooling on this uh, world edit thing. I know, Adam, you broke the pattern. You're talking about Minecraft. I know, right? Friggin' guy. What's wrong with me? But, uh, <coughs> showing us how to use world edit and all that stuff, and it's actually pretty cool. I'm digging it. Girlfriend just bought Minecraft, so she's trying to learn how to build shit and stuff and junk and... <coughs> oh, Jesus. And, uh, yeah, I guess tonight's just going to be a crafting night. Probably ain't much going on, so friggin' rights. But on that note, I'm going to head her back inside because I really got to rock a piss and uh, smoke cigarettes. Well, I'm doing that right now, so, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. He's so wired. I don't get it. He's just right friggin' spun. Just trampling through the snow. If this was summer, you wouldn't be able to see him anymore. He'd just disappear into the darkness. <laughs> just trampling the snow. Friggin' dog. Just insane. Holy shit, what a drastic temperature change. Um, it's currently like plus nine out. And, uh, or plus nine. What the hell am I talking? Minus nine out for minus 17 this afternoon. Yeah, it's about three in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. I think I already said that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's currently minus nine. And by Sunday, it's supposed to be up to plus like five. Which maybe means we'll get rid of the snow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But, um, I think today was dickered enough, guys. I'm gonna have to shut the video down here. All we did tonight was play Minecraft and, uh, learned a bunch of shit about World Edit and all that fun stuff. And all in all, it was pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut her down here. So, if you like today's video, go ahead and... <laughs> If you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Because you know me, I like it when you hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I freaking like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be sure to respond because that's what I do. Maybe not tomorrow because I might be drunk at a New Year's party. But I'll probably be filming there. Yeah. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.